Hey everybody, a couple of days ago, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff's staff posted it's Willis O'Brien Day. Oakland born Willis O'Brien pioneered stop motion animation in the Lost World 1925, King Kong 1933, and Mighty Joe Young 1949, which won him an Oscar. Learn more at the Oakland History Room's exhibit. And there is a proclamation, a photograph of O'Brien. And then there is a proclamation here as well um, that you can read. You know, Mayor's proclamation recognition of Willis O'Brien Day. And, uh, you know, you would think that with me forming Oakland's only bid to bring the Super Bowl to Oakland, even though we lost to Jacksonville, that there would be a Zinni Abraham Day for me getting Oakland to the finals between Jacksonville in Miami for the right, especially since no one thought we would get that far. But details, anyway, it reads, the office of Mayor Libby Schaff takes pride in recognizing Oaklanders who have contributed greatly to the arts. And one of those individuals is Willis O'Brien. And whereas Willis O'Brien was born in Oakland in March to 1980, 1886, and whereas he pioneered and advanced the motion movie special effects technology of stop motion animation, whereas he made deep and lasting contributions to our cultural heritage, huh. including winning the 1950 Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, and whereas King Kong, brought to life by Willis O'Brien in 1933, is a cultural icon beloved by millions. Therefore, I, Libby Schaff, Mayor of the City of Oakland, California, do hereby proclaim March 2nd, 2022, as Willis O'Brien Day in Oakland. The witness thereof, I have hereto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Oakland to be affirmed. Uh, okay. One thing that she and Grand Lakes owner Alan Michon, who posted Willis O'Brien King Kong Day March 2, 2022, have to be reminded of is quite simply that well this for all of its historic significance king kong is also widely regarded as a racist diatribe against black people it has a line in it that was uttered by carl denham the character the main character who had the idea of going to skull island to film what was called the ape that was called king kong that it was the largest creature ever seen by white men. No, white men. That's not my line. That's not my imprinting on what he might have been thinking. He said that. Blacks in King Kong were portrayed as savages. Blacks in King Kong were portrayed even to the point of the gorilla himself well, essentially being a metaphor for a big black guy that white people are afraid of who desires a blonde white woman. That was the open image that was pushed. And it was up to these white men to go and save their prized blonde from the savage creature King Kong. That was what was pushed. And it didn't even in any other iteration of Kong come to anyone's mind to make Kong actually sympathetic until 2005's Peter Jackson's version of King Kong, where he turned Kong into a victim of, well, bloodthirsty white guys. The bottom line is that we can't just pick out events in history without acknowledging the, the history of the times. And that's what happened here. And we especially can't do it in Oakland, of all places. Oakland has a modern cultural reputation for racial justice. So it is basically unjust 
to remind us that Willis O'Brien was born in Oakland and created King Kong without addressing the message that King Kong sent regarding blacks in America. King Kong is widely considered a racist diatribe on blacks in America. And that is a fact. Subscribe to Zenny62, bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com, and, you know, think more and more carefully about what you choose to celebrate. For example, no one ever celebrates the fact that I created Oakland's first blog, but I did. Or no one celebrates the fact that I started Oakland's first YouTube partner channel, but I did. I have never received a proclamation from the city of Oakland. This from some people who would then go see Hidden Figures, a movie made about the mathematics exploits of black women during the space race in the 60s, because, and they would say, they were forgotten. Well, it would seem to me that the forgetting about what black folks actually do when it comes to something not athletic still continues today.